everyone welcome to pumpkin horror now today we're going to go over the actual Jordu shell hang on for a second here it is actually called the dry rot mask now this mask in itself is absolutely spectacular it's got the most amazing detail and let me give you a little bit of history of Jordu shell okay the man has done concept art as well as you know he's a concept designer He's done for films such as Avatar, The Walking, or the, not The Walking Dead, The Dawn of the Dead, as well as Starship Troopers. And he's also done a different interpretation of The Dawn of the Dead's um, dry rot um, zombie here. It's, this is his own interpretation of it. But anyway, you get the idea of what this guy is actually capable of doing, okay? He is absolutely amazing with his uh, artwork or his concept art design and stuff. And he actually created this along with two other masks. One of them is, I don't know, like a, an alien type thing. And there's also another one that's kind of similar to a zombie, but it's got a lot of teeth in it. And I wanted to get the alien, but that's a future thing. I might get it, I don't know, because when I've seen this mask here... I was super impressed with the detail, the colors, everything on this thing absolutely stands out. Okay, now this is not highly lit, but I will tell you this. We're going to move it in close so you can actually see what it looks like up close and personal. The color scheme and everything is absolutely spectacular. I'm really impressed with this mask. Uh, for the most part, this is a $69, $70 mask. Plus shipping and handling, which would push it around $80, $85, almost $90 in some areas. But in my opinion, it is worth it because of what I'm about to mention. But anyway, long story short, this is the dry rot mask. It is Jordu Shell's version of The Walking Dead. I don't have a zombie mask out there. And I came across this one on Big Bad Toy Store. And I love the looks of it. So when I actually seen it up close and personal uh, earlier today, I was absolutely impressed with the colors, the details, everything. So with that in mind, let me go ahead and shut this off and give you some close-up shots of this mask. It's pretty impressive. Now the thing about this mask is, I have a styrofoam head in it, but it's not stuffed. And it seems to stand on its own because this is an extremely thick mask. But I guess... For the actual detail, it needs to be semi-thick. But anyway, let me show you what it looks like here. Get it off of here. Alright. So let me just pull this back a bit. And I'll let you see what it looks like. Let's start with the ear here. He definitely has some major damage to the ear. Obviously because he's dry rotting. Okay. Hence the word dry rot. Ah, ah. Alright. Anyway. The detail, you see, you can see the dry rod feature to it, the eyebrows, even the head. That is cool. Okay, and I'll show you the whole entire mask though. Look at the eyes. Now, I don't know if this camera is actually doing its justice, but those eyes are really dark red, really creepy looking. Okay. The nose, the texture, there's holes in the face over here. Very cool. You put a lot of detail into this. Really paid uh, attention to it. It's very cool what they did. Okay, there's even a hole right there. I think that's cool. Okay, see right there. All right, the mouth in itself, very realistic, dry rotted teeth. Okay, this really nice looking detail. So if you guys ever want to pick this up, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. This is how nice this damn thing is. Look at that. That's cool. The detail, the stretching and everything. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the back of the head and we'll get down to the neck, okay? Alright, and you can see that? That's cool. The textures are absolutely amazing. They really put in uh, attention to this thing. Alright, that's actually cool. The little dimple here in the little hole, that's important. Otherwise, your uh, the little slit here will keep traveling up and and eventually rip it. You don't want that. Especially if you're trying to put it on your head. And it can be a, a super tight fit. But in this case when I wore it. And I got a big head. 
It absolutely fits perfect. I kid you not. All right. The ear is very nice. Big chunk of it missing. Okay. Again, the other side of the eye and teeth. Okay. The chin. That's cool. Really cool. Let's get into the neck here a little bit. It's got some stretch marks there. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. I like the way they did that. The actual stretch, stretching on the neck here. As his skin is dry rotting and aging at the same time. Okay, that's what the neck looks like. Alright. Now, one more thing. I've mentioned this in my other videos. Now, this has got some cool looking holes in it. That's cool. Nice. Very nice. Anyway, what I wanted to say about this was, as you can see, that is very cool looking. You can't go wrong with that mask. That's really cool looking. Nicely detailed. And in my opinion, it's well worth the 70 80 bucks with the shipping and handling. Definitely worth it. Okay, oh yeah, one more thing before we get into talking about it again. The thickness of this mask, it's really thick. See? That's a heavy gauge. So there is a decent amount of uh, latex and uh, PVC on this. So yeah, but I guess because of how much detail is into it, it has to be a certain amount of thickness to it. That's really cool looking. But anyway, let's put your back up there. Okay. All right, make sure. There we go. Okay, well, that's the dry rot mask from Jordu Shell. It is a Trick or Treat Studios mask. You can get it at Big Bad Toy Store, and I've seen it on Amazon.com, but usually on Amazon.com, they're a little bit higher priced in some aspects. And I'm sure you can find it on eBay too, as well. Anyway, this mask in itself, the color scheme, as well as everything else that I mentioned, is very cool. Now, when I'm wearing this mask, um, if you got a big head, it absolutely fits perfect, okay? Now, I've had it on, and I think I'm going to go ahead and put it on so you can see what it looks like with me wearing it. And as you can see, the actual neck and stuff, you can actually wear a shirt, uh, you know, most human clothing and stuff like that, and actually get away with it. Uh, maybe you might creep out your hands or something, who knows. But anyway, you are capable of doing it going past the neckline. Because this goes past the neckline. That's a very cool touch. Alright, but anyway. Uh, what else was I going to say? The thickness of the mask. Okay, I'm going to eventually show you what it looks like with me wearing it. So just hang in there. I'm going to be right back. Okay, here's what it looks like on your head. Now as you can see, the neckline. It'll fit perfect if you have some kind of clothing to go over it. You won't even notice it. I've noticed people in videos and stuff like that, especially when they do toy reviews, they'll use their fingers. They'll be like, yes, yes, yes. I find that quite annoying. <laughs> okay, no offense. But anyway, I'm going to show you what it looks like up close. That's pretty cool. I like that. Here's looking at you, kid. Now the visuals in this, because the bridge of the nose, it's got like two spacers in it, and it sits right on your nostrils, it's absolutely perfect for eyesight. Okay? Oh yeah. It's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> anyway, this is a very cool looking mask. And it would be very cool to wear this at Halloween. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the dry rot mask. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell as I get closer to doing some more videos. You guys in the meantime have yourselves a good night.